everybody, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. Today I am really excited because I am gonna show you around the Ibex RV suite. Now there's also a Nobo RV suite because they're sister companies. The only difference, the Nobo has a little different coloring on the outside, the inside is gonna be identical. Now, this isn't your standard travel trailer and it's not a park model. It's kind of in between. It's a great trailer if you like to go to one spot, stay there for some time, and then maybe move on. It's a, kind of like a tiny house trailer, kind of all mashed together. No slides, but it's got great features in it, a beautiful modern look, and so many spaces that really kind of feel like a tiny home. This RV suite is RV suite number one. Now there are several models that are coming out later. They will all have slide outs. The no slide version, man, this is if you wanna just be, have a no nonsense trailer that'll do lots of different things with the space. All right, it weighs a little under 7,500 pounds dry weight and it's 32 foot six inches long. Great trailer for parking at the lake, maybe putting somewhere in the summer, a different place in the winter. You're gonna really love the interior of this, so let's go inside and get started. The first thing that makes you think, maybe this isn't a regular trailer, is that I'm walking in a sliding glass door. Right here on the side, I love this. It opens up the space. It's right across from this huge kitchen window. It does feel like a little tiny home in here, nothing RV about it. You do have right over here, these large curtains. And when I first saw this guys, I have to tell you, I wasn't sure that I liked it because they have these curtains that just drop over on the hooks, but it's perfect. I would hate to see curtains that were always coming out of the poles that were maybe coming unhooked. And these, they're blackout curtains. You can cover everything in this trailer. It just, it's a nice feel. You know, I might even take the curtains down completely, fold them up, and then maybe at night, just hook them on. With three hooks, I could do that. All right, you, we don't have screen doors up here, but they do come with it. We haven't set them up for these doors yet, but you do have screens. There are two sliding glass doors. There's one in the back as well, so you can keep that in mind. But I'm gonna start right here behind me. So walking into this, on the right-hand side, you have a 32-inch 12-volt television. It's nestled in this little entertainment center right up top. It is a smart TV. Really handy, huh? And right under here, the first thing you see on your switches is your heated holding tank system. This is not meant to be a full four season trailer. However, it's gonna do great in the cold weather. If what you need is to be sure nothing freezes, right in here, and they did put extra insulation in the walls. So underneath, you've got your LED light for your awning. We'll take a look at that outside, of course the porch light, and another exterior light. So this panel has lots of great controls on it. You've got all the lighting at the top, and of course the lights are dimmable, which I think is a great feature. Then you have the water pump, the water heater, and you can extend and retract the awning. You can also monitor your tanks, all kinds of great things there, but the best feature, I don't know, it takes voice commands. So let me show you how it works. Hey, Power Pro. Good night. Sleep well. Hey, Power Pro. I'm home. Welcome back. I don't know, super fun, right? Another cool feature, you can rename it. You could say, hey, Gladys, or hey, Joe. I don't know, you could call it anything. So that part's programmable and you can put in some custom commands. So I think it's a very cool system, lots of fun, and it's one of the three options on this trailer. So you don't have to get the Power Pro option, but I've never seen this unit without it. So I'm not quite sure what it would look like if you didn't get the Power Pro system. 
All right, we'll keep going. Underneath here, you've got some nice cubbies. I love what they've done with the back of it. Just a nice warm look and the fireplace. You know, it's not only going to give you ambiance, but also electric heat. So kind of, kind of a great feature, right? And underneath more cubbies. This is simply going to be your carbon monoxide monitor. A lot of times you'll see something like that. That is also your LP detector. However, there's no LP on this trailer at all. This is all electric. It's a 50 amp service, really meant to be plugged in somewhere. And as I said, park there for a period of time. So you don't need that LP detector. Kind of nice. Let me show you some of the electric features in the kitchen. Let's start with this refrigerator. I love this. This is an 8.7 cubic foot. It has that retro look, the gold handles. I mean, it's just really nice. I love all the shelves that it has in it because it's narrower. They were able to go taller to get that space for you. And that means more shelves, of course, all adjustable. That's really nice. And down here, you've got freezer compartments. Again, one of the things I really like is this freezer compartment is all drawers. So you don't have to worry about stacking things up. I don't know. I love the style. I love the usability of this. And it has this nice travel lock, simple to use. Just pull it over in front of the doors and nothing is gonna open when you're going down the road. Now let's move on to this counter space. I mean, this is beautiful solid surface counters. Right here you have the induction cooktop, cook stove, whatever we wanna call it. Um, you do need special pans for this, but guys, I love it. It's electric, it's easy, and it's really quick. You'll see these in a lot of the high-end units today. Underneath, this is gonna be the microwave and the convection oven. It's a combination. Again, everything in here is electric. If you're not used to a convection oven, very simple to use, and there's instructions in there on how to bake, how to grill, how to do almost anything you wanna do. Of course, underneath you will see the breaker box. And let's take a look over here at the storage. I think they did a beautiful job in this trailer with storage. So I'm going to be harping on that the whole time. Look at all this storage. You've got huge open space above and underneath. The only thing in here is the bottom of this sink because you've got a nice uh, round sink here. Let's lift up this cover. I really love this white countertop. It gives it such a great look. And this is that eight inch deep uh, brushed aluminum sink. Really deep, really nice to use. And of course, a very nice faucet here with the spray handle. Let's put this back because I just love the way it looks. Over here on the left, you'll see a portable speaker, kind of a cool looking thing that comes with the trailer. Up here, I want to point out, you've got these two Power Pro stickers that's going to alert you to how to work with the Power Pro voice activation. And underneath, you'll see wired for solar. I want to clarify that because many times you will see this sticker in a trailer and it's a solar panel on the roof. This is not pre-wired for a solar panel on the roof. It is, however, pre-wired for a portable solar panel. So you've got the plug on the outside and I'll show you where that is when we're going through that part of the trailer. A 110 plug right here on the edge and controls right here for the Fury on air conditioner that's just above us. Now there's two ACs in this unit. The one right above us is going to be ducted into the bathroom. So we'll take a look at that next, but that control is right here on the wall. One thing I know you've been staring at that I haven't mentioned, this floating shelf at the top. I am a huge fan because it doesn't make the trailer feel smaller. You've got these hooks up here if you wanna hang utensils, if you wanna hang a towel, whatever you need to hang up there. I'd be hanging my keys up there, quite honestly, so I wouldn't lose them. Uh, but a towel bar on the left-hand side. But great storage up here. Whatever kind of storage you need, whether it's just putting some food boxes up there or whether you want to get beautiful little baskets to store things in. Just a really, 
nice way to do it in this space. Speaking of storage, I didn't mention that there are three nice size drawers right here. They're really deep, the full depth of the counter, and yeah, about four inches tall. And all three of them are the same size. Just under that, whenever you see this footprint, you will know that is the road vac. And I don't wanna lift it up because it's a little noisy, sounds like a vacuum, but it's super sweet because all you do is sweep up the floor, lift that up with your foot, and it sucks in all the dirt. There's also a handheld hose, if you'd like to use it that way, that plugs in right here on the front. So it's super easy to use and a built-in vacuum. I mean, that's really nice. Let's move over here because this is the seating area. Yes, it looks a bit smaller than some RVs, but I don't know. I kind of like the look of the lounger here. If there's two people, it's comfy enough for two people to sit here. You know, if you get stuck inside on a rainy day, you might want a little more seating. Let's take a look. This actually turns into kind of an L-shaped sofa. And the way that works is this piece pulls out, this flips up, and then you've got a piece here that pulls out to be the base of it. Let's see if I can get my, my hands around it. There you go. Flip this up. And now you've got kind of an L-shaped sofa. I don't know. I could relax here on a rainy day and do just fine. All right, let's keep going. So much to see. So I bet from the opening shots, you guys saw a sneak peek of this amazing bathroom. You know, one thing I'm not so thrilled about is when you walk in the door, it's right there, the toilet is front and center, but I'm telling you, you walk in here, it's fabulous. It feels spacious. Let's start over here with these bowl sinks. I love these top mounted sinks, the live edge on the countertop. It has such a nice warm feel. And then you've got this country wallpaper. Let's talk about just the panels that go around the window. It just has such a high-end feel in here. Look at these nice faucets. At first, I wasn't sure I liked the two sinks, but after being in here, there is so much counter space around it. I won't have any trouble working with that if I was camping in this. Let's look at storage underneath because that's always important. You've got three drawers on each side. These are nice, the same as the kitchen drawers. They're the full depth of the counter and about four inches deep. So kind of a his and hers kind of thing. Three on each side. And again, a really nice open space underneath. I, I love this. And you know, I do like the way that in here, they made this color on the cabinetry just a little lighter it blends a little better in here. It might be a little overpowering in this space to have the darker green like they have in the living area, but this feels very open. You've got another nice cabinet here. Again, you know, a fair amount. It's full depth of the counter. This top space would be great for towels. The bottom space is just huge. You can see in here, we've got the hoses right there for the uh, for the vacuum. So you could vacuum this entire place with those hoses if you wanted to use that for the full length of this trailer. Porcelain toilet, don't need me to demonstrate that, but I love that it's in a nice big open space here. And yes, you do have shades that pull down on all these windows, those blackout shades, so it's really easy to get privacy in here. Towel rack here, Nice little soap holder right here if you wanted that. Toothbrushes in that little space. You've got towel holders on the other side. A really nice little light fixture thing. Light fixture thing? I don't know. Unusual in RVs. I don't usually get to talk about light fixtures. So up here you've got a furnace. Now there are two furnaces in this. One here and one in the bedroom. 
They do a great job. They even have an eco mode if you just want to keep the chill off, maybe run it at night. So uh, furnace is out of the way. Again, all electric. Let's go over here because this is a super cool shower. That's right. I'm going to step in it and talk to you about it. You do step up just a little bit here. Now this is only about six foot four to the ceiling. You know, I'm only five foot tall, so everything looks tall when I'm in it, but you are six foot 10 throughout the majority of this trailer. So almost anyone is going to be comfortable with that height. This does drop down because you step up just a little bit. You do have a skylight here that is going to bring you back up to six foot ten. But I don't know, you might have to stand with your head in the skylight. It might be tricky. You do have the rain shower right up here, handheld sprayer and a body spray. So this shower bar is super cool. Oh, two body sprays, one high and one low. All the controls in the middle for what type of pressure you want and which sprays you want to work. I don't know. I love it. I think this is super cool. It's big. There's plenty of space in here. I would not hesitate to have a shower like this in my house. All right. In a trailer, remember this doesn't have any slide outs and it's, it's not a huge trailer, but they make it work and they fit everything in here. One more thing. Now inside this cabinet, I know you thought you'd seen everything, but this is a washer dryer combo. It is the largest that Contour makes. And you know, what a great feature. It's not going to do massive loads. Let's not kid ourselves, but it does have like 16 wash cycles. I don't know. That ought to be enough, right? The thing that I really like about this is that you've got shelves above it and you could put a hanging bar up there. You could take the shelves out completely. I mean, whatever you need. If you wanted more storage, if you wanted more towel space, just whatever works for you. You could even take this washer dryer combo out and put a stackable in here if that's what you prefer. Nevertheless, look at that. Super great to have it in this space. And they wallpapered the inside of the door. Yep, and on the outside, it's got the shaker frame with the mirror in between. Just beautifully done. Slider door right here. Let me show you that. It's got a catch right here to keep it closed. Everything has a bit of style in here. They've just done a great job. All right, we're gonna go into the bedroom space, which is also a workspace, which is also a flex space, which is I guess whatever you want it to be. So let's head that way. So when I talk about flex space, I mean, this is the definition of flex space. This table is really nice. Again, that uh, live edge wood, it is not real wood, which is great, is super durable, not gonna be any problem if it gets wet and really comfy chairs. So if you work in your trailer, this would be great if you like to have dinner uh, inside. Perfect. I mean, what a great space. You've got another one of those massive windows right here. Now this also folds down at night to make a bed. Before we do that, I want to show you the storage on both sides because again, storage is key in a trailer like this. Let's start right over here. And you've got this large open cabinet the full depth, kind of the same depth as the countertop. So a lot of space here. That furnace I was telling you about for the bedroom is right here and more storage underneath. Now you've got the same thing on the other side. The only difference is this cabinet goes all the way to the top. Now on the other side where this furnace is, you have two 110 plugs and two USB ports. There's more inside the bed area. I'll show you that in just a minute. But let's talk about this table going down. How hard is it? Super easy and I'm gonna show you. Let me get these chairs into the living area and show you all the different things this space can do. 
So by now, I bet you just picked up on maybe one of the downsides of flex space in a trailer this size, and that is these chairs have to go somewhere. So when you're ready to go to bed, you can move the chairs out to the patio or into the living area and you know, they're out of the way for the evening. It's all good, but they're so comfy to sit in and it makes this space so usable. It's worth it. All right, to put this table down, it's, I've never seen this before, but this is a magnetic leg. So it just pulls right out, lay that down right there. And then you have latches on both sides. Just push those latches. When you drop this down, there is a clip down here to tighten it in place. That was pretty easy, right? Now you've got this huge space. To drop down the bed, all you have to do is unlatch it right here on the side. These legs, they're gonna come down pretty easily. You just gotta give it a pull, get it started. And the legs are gonna fold out by themselves and the bed lays down. That's pretty easy, right? Now in this super comfy bedroom, You've got the 15,000 BTU AC, gonna keep it super cool. You've got this nice furnace here, gonna keep you warm in the winter. All The AC is controlled right here on the wall, but let's say it's a beautiful night and you wanna open the windows. Let me show you how all these windows work. Cause remember, there is two in the living area, a big one here, and now we know there's another big one behind the bed. So you just pull open these tabs, give them a push, kind of like the escape windows, and they just clip into place right here. Now, they open about six, seven inches, and it's wonderful because if it starts raining, no moisture is coming in, you still get a nice breeze. You know, if you say that's not a lot of breeze, you've got a sliding glass door right back here and another one in the living area. You can get plenty of air in this place. It's awesome. All right. So let's close this back up and let's come around a little bit. Over here on the other side, you have the other sliding glass door and that really opens this up. I mean, it's glass on three sides, essentially. And you have another one of these curtains. As I said, not a big fan in the beginning, but when I think about using it, these are perfect. These grommeted curtains, you just lift them up and you can cover part of it, you can cover all of it. I don't know, I, I have become a huge fan the more I think about this. You could also take them all down. They're just simple and easy to use, which is pretty much describing almost everything in this trailer. So folding the bed down is pretty easy, right? The best part is that it is really comfortable. This is a foam mattress and it's got a nice pillow top on it. So really one of the more comfortable mattresses in the industry. The other thing that you can't see when this is folded up is the space right back here. Now there's one on each side, that nice cubby for you to put all those things you need when you're sleeping and a charge for your phone because you've got two USBs and the 110 plug right in there on both sides. They are matching. So that's a pretty nice space. The side table, not an option, but you've got your own cubby. The window behind here, that matches the one on the other side, so I love the light. Yes, it has this wonderful pull-down blackout shade, so when you're sleeping, it's gonna be plenty dark in here. So, really nice space. The other thing I like, the headboard. They've got this nice padded headboard up here. You know, it's stylish and functional because you know, put your pillow back there. I might roll over, hit my head. I don't know. Now this bed, like I had mentioned, it is 66 inches wide. So it's an Olympic queen, 80 inches long, and that makes for a really nice sleeping area. And it is a walk around when it's out, but I mean, there's not a ton of space to walk around, but you can get around it. You may have to kind of sidestep on the end, but it certainly works. Now we're gonna show you how to put it right back up. The same release that you use to put the bed down, you're gonna pull to lift it right back up again. So pull this lever right here and lift it up. And then lift that release and it locks it back into place. Now I'm not gonna lie, 
This is a little heavy for me to lift. I can do it, but as you can see, I have to lean into it. Now, to be fair, these legs, when you open it up, should click into place. So when you put this up, if the legs aren't folding in, that's because they have done what they're supposed to do and clip into place. Just push the end. Let me see if I can do that. And it drops right down. Really simple to use everything. But once it's up, you're back to this workspace or like they call it, a flex space that can do whatever you need during the day. Unlike pushing up that bed, the table, super simple. Unlatch it down here, lift it up. You have the magnetic leg to just put in place right there. Very easy to do. And then lower this piece down to where you need it to be. And you're good to go. So that part's easy. You're not gonna have a lot of trouble setting this up once you get out of bed. Bring those chairs back in, you're good to go. You guys stick around because not only do we have this beautiful deck to talk about, but then all around the outside. So stay tuned. For those of you that love windows like I do, I just can't believe there is a trailer 32 feet long and all those big windows and two sliding glass doors. I don't know, it's kind of a dream for me, right? This patio, it's not huge, but my goodness, it is a patio. It's fabulous. I could bring those chairs out here and just sit out here. I've got a cover over my head. I'm in the shade, I'm out of the rain. How much fun you could have sitting out here. I might even find a way to put a little cocktail table right here. I don't know, I could have some great time back here. It does have a metal diamond plate floor and I'm thinking it might be a great place to maybe strap your bicycles to the rail when you're going down the road, put a few things out here that yeah, maybe need to stay outside. Other than that, just a great place to hang out. Right here, I also like the fact that there's no catches that are gonna come undone. This is a magnet, but it's a strong one. Let me warn you, you're gonna have to lean into it. Let me see if I can get it open. Yeah. It's a good pull. And the reason is when it's going down the road, you don't want it to come open. Just latches right back. You've also noticed, no doubt, that there is a grill right here in the back. It is a hitch grill. Uh, they call it a hitch kitchen. And this is one of the three options you can get on this trailer. The only three options, the hitch grill or hitch kitchen as they call it, the AI system, remember Power Pro that I talk to and turn the lights on and off, and the washer dryer combo. Those are the only three options. Everything else is standard. All right, let's keep going. There's so much to see over here. Now, did I mention that this swivels all around? And it's on a little swing arm there. I mean, you could position this all kinds of places. It's really great. It is the only uh, LP piece of equipment on this entire trailer. There is an LP can that you can just screw right onto the grill. You're not connected into the trailer at all. I don't know, so many great things. Right here, I wanna talk about this stabilizer jack. It's a little different than maybe you've seen in the past. This is a quick drop stabilizer, and it, it's a little different because it is meant to have a lot of extra stabilization. There is a QR code and I recommend that you uh, take a shot of that and read all about it, but it does kind of give you instructions right here at the top. What they wanna do is they wanna take this arm and make it as straight up and down as they can because that's gonna give you the most stabilization. This piece of it, you can raise and lower to achieve that because if you need more reach on it, you'll wanna drop it down like it is here. When we go up to the front, because it's mounted in a different place, that reach is a lot shorter because you want that jack to extend as far as it can. Cranks down right here, very simple to use, but again, a really nice feature for keeping this trailer really stable since it's meant for moderately long-term stays. Let's keep going, more to see here. You do have a spray port, a nice coiled hose, and then the city water fill and filling the fresh water tank. 
This has a 90 gallon fresh water tank. So I don't know, that's gonna last you a long time if you need to run off tank water. Over here, the 50 amp cord, this is 50 amp service because of the two ACs. And right up above, cable satellite hookup in case you have a portable satellite or you have cable hookup at some place you're staying. One of the things that IBEX does is they have a single dump hose right here. So if you have one exit point, all of your handles are going to be connected to this. Now that's important because they do have two gray tanks. They have a 30 gallon gray tank in the front and a 30 gallon gray tank in the back. You only want one place, so it's not a hassle. You don't have to move a sewer hose from front to back, all plumbed to one location. You also have a 30 gallon black tank. So 90 gallon fresh, 60 gallons of gray, and 30 gallons of black. Nice, right? And of course, it's all heated and enclosed in the underbelly like all Ibexes are. Let's keep going. Right up here, black tank flush and the solar port I was telling you about. So if you wanted to get a portable solar panel, if for any reason you are using this in a spot where you don't have a plug-in, put that solar panel out there and it'll help keep your batteries charged. Water heater right back here. Again, it looks like a standard gas electric water heater, but it is only electric. Moving around to the front, here is the super nice aluminum storage box in the front. It's got these latches on it that are gonna open it right up. Right over here is where you'll have the batteries. I know one of the things that we talk about a lot in this industry right now is having this huge bank of batteries. Well, it's really not necessary with this trailer. It is meant to be stationary and it's gonna operate well if you've got the 50 amp plug-in. The items that are not gonna run on the battery that require the plug-in are going to be your induction stove, your microwave, it's going to be the air conditioners, the furnaces. So most likely, you're gonna want that plug-in to make a lot of this work. However, batteries here will be really nice they will run the rest of the trailer and leave you plenty of storage space in here. They even put this nice decorative piece on the front. And you've got an electric jack, of course, standard. You do have a little leash hook here. You'll see that on a lot of the Forest River trailers. You know, if you have pets or something that you would like to tie down to your trailer, very easy to latch on right there. Now coming around, you see these jacks right here. They don't look as extended as the others. It's a, it's a difference of where it's mounted under the trailer. When you're looking at these jacks, one more thing, because I think they're super cool. You see that red plate? As long as this end arm is past the red plate, it's doing its job. So that's what you look for when you're setting up this trailer. Again, there is a QR code on it and some pictures. It's pretty self-explanatory, but because they are different than a lot of the jacks that I show, I wanted to give you just a little insight into that. Now, another thing we haven't mentioned is this is a full walk-on roof. It is slanted at the top, so you're gonna get all the water runoff, all the snow runoff. The other thing is it looks super cool that way. All right, it is a TPO roof, so it's a one-piece roof. Very well made. You've got the Asdell on the outside and on the inside of these walls. It does have extra insulation, more than the Ibex trailers. And we're back around to the front to this super cool awning. Oh, wait, one more thing. The windows. Now, the windows look different on the outside. They have squared off glass because it's a style thing. They are the standard radius windows that you've seen other places. They just have a cool tiny house style to them. All right, so this latch right here, while it looks maybe a little out of place, it is an amazing piece because going down the road, you don't want this door to have any option of sliding open. So this clips right over it. Let me see if I can get it to go. You lift it up and it goes right into place. I mean, you don't have to worry about those doors sliding. It's brilliant. You know, every piece of this has a little style in it and I love this handle, but if you don't like it, it slides up and just goes out of the way. Now, before we go, 
I want to put this awning out because this looks so amazing. Remember, there is an Ibex version and there's a Nobo version. The Nobo version is going to be a beige on the top and kind of a foresty green on the bottom. A little bit different colors, but still the same trailer on the inside. With this awning out, you get this beautiful outdoor space, the LED lighting, just a great place to hang out. You know what, I have so enjoyed showing you this trailer, but if I miss something or you have questions, I hope you'll contact us here at Princess Craft. You know, stay tuned, there's always more trailers to show you. I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. I'll see you next time.